For the first time tonight, a woman describes her terrifying escape. She used a note to alert workers that her boyfriend was threatening her with a gun. We've shown you the video. Now the victim is sharing her story. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us with her message to others in need of help. And you kind of lose faith in humanity, but then you slip a note to a veterinarian and they call the police for you. The 28-year-old woman seen Friday in the surveillance video inside the lobby of the Deland Animal Hospital says after two days of being assaulted by her boyfriend, 39-year-old Jeremy Floyd, she convinced him to bring her dog to the vet. She told staff she thought her dog had an ear infection, but in reality, she worried that his ear was actually grazed by a bullet inside their home. I wrote it on my hand, I just took off my bank note and I wrote it. And then I, that you, my handwriting isn't usually that sloppy. Then this note, handed off to the vet staff, saying her boyfriend was threatening her with a gun. I slipped her the note, and that's when I slid my glasses off to show her I had a bruised eye just so she would take me seriously. The two seen here in the exam room. When we were w waiting in the room, and I knew the police were on the way, I was shaking and I was trying to hide it by petting Max, my dog. Then she saw an officer through the window, first a sigh of relief then followed by fear over how Floyd might react. I wasn't sure if he would shoot at the police, at me, at the dog, at himself. I was just afraid, but he stood up and he said, and he said, it me. Officer safely taking Floyd and his loaded handgun into custody. The victim, thankful the employees, got her the help she needed. The whole staff was just amazing. And I, I didn't mean to put that on them, but they were there and they were heroes. She hopes her moment of bravery inspires others who are also in a domestic violence situation. Never stop trying. And if you see abuse, it does escalate. It does escalate no matter what they say. It will get worse. In Volusia County, Troy Campbell, News 6. What a brave move. Just today, investigators added another charge of stalking against the victim's boyfriend. He called her dozens of times while in jail over the weekend. If you know someone dealing with domestic violence, we posted a number and information on how to get help at clickorlando.com. You'll find it inside the story. It's right there on the homepage.